Here we are today uh, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the uh, Mexican-American civil rights struggle. A lot of people don't know that there was a struggle uh, uh, in East Los Angeles and around the country um, fighting for rights for the people. Uh, Mexican-Americans right now today there's like 40 million uh, Mexican-Americans in the United States and they need to learn to fight for their rights again. Uh, we fought for our rights to secure to secure our future and uh, it did pay off and there were a lot of rewards. But once again we're looking at uh, what happened uh, today. Uh, today's Chicano Day. Uh, to, go, to remember, we're trying to remember uh, what happened on uh, January 31st, 1971 at the Chicano Moratorium at our demonstration in which the sheriffs opened fire and shot 35 people and killed one here on Whittier Boulevard. And that's why we're here, to remember some of the events that took place and remember uh, the people that died in the East LA riots. Altogether, there were four people that died in the East LA riots, uh, 40 people who were shot by the police, the sheriff, and also hundreds and hundreds of people were arrested uh, in the East LA riots uh, because people were protesting for their rights to survive, the right to get a job, uh, for their Chicano rights, uh, to be able to live in peace and liberty without being harassed by the police. And we're here to remember the significance and the importance of that movement uh, that took place uh, in the 1960s and 1970s. This is the 50th anniversary of the Chicano Civil Rights Movement. We were here to remember the uh, people who were shot, 35 people who were shot uh, here on Whittier Boulevard, and I'll tell the story briefly. Uh, basically what happened was people broke away from the Chicano moratorium march and they went toward Whittier Boulevard and when they got, they got to Whittier Boulevard along with a lot of people, a thousand people, uh, the uh, sheriff uh, opened fire killing, uh, shooting 35 and killing one. Uh, this is right here the sheriffs were waiting for the marchers for the protesters from the Chicano moratorium to reach Arizona and Whittier Boulevard uh, and when they finally did reach Arizona and Whittier Boulevard the police opened fire and shot 35 people and killed one. And this picture here is when they actually people were falling down, getting actually getting shot and falling down to the ground. And the other pictures here are people who after they've been shot in the chest, in the neck, uh, people who actually uh, uh, died. This, per this person died and I was told that uh, this person died uh, sometime later. Uh, so actually there's more than one uh, person who was killed. Uh, but at that day, on January 31st, 1971, it was 35 people, because I went out there and I took down the names of all the people that got shot. And uh, the police had no mercy whatsoever. Uh, they opened fire on the protesters. There was more people shot here than at Kent State. We hear about Kent State, but we don't hear about this story. And that's why we're here, to tell the story of how the sheriff actually, it was a massacre, how they shot so many people uh, without any mercy. And that's why the story we, we wanted to tell here today.
freedom has been defended. Hello, everyone. We're here to celebrate. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary of the Mexican-American Civil Rights Movement, the Chicano Civil Rights Movement. And we're here to remember the, those 50 years and our struggle and how we fought against prejudice and racism in our community and how we continue to struggle for uh, the lives of our people and to save lives. We're also here to remember that on January 31st, 1971, we had a march, the Chicago Military March, and as we, as we marched uh, uh, toward uh, Whittier Boulevard, as the march went to Whittier Boulevard, uh, the sheriff opened fire on the march, uh, shooting 35 and killing one. And we're here to remember that, you know, that the police brutality that took place at that time was unjust. Uh, people don't know about this part of history. This is our Mexican-American civil rights history. And we want to tell a story. And the story is how we were shot down in the streets for protesting on January 31st, 1971. The racism continues and we must continue the struggle uh, to secure the future of our community and to secure the future of our youth. A couple of people here, uh, also here, my name is uh, Dr. David Sanchez, and uh, I'll introduce a couple of people here who have a few words to say. This is Philip Boulogne. My name is Philip Bayon. <coughs> I'm also a member of the Bombardier. We're here also, like David said, to uh, celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Chicano movement. Okay. What uh, all Chicanos should realize is gang violence, you're, you're hurting your own people, you know? Like, we already have enough prejudice against us from the, from the uh, Caucasian and we don't need to uh, have it uh, against ourselves. So we, are, we have to stick together, go to school, and make things better for our people. Now, I hope we can realize that and stop fighting against each other and go to school and help our people go to college. Thank you. My name is Ralph. Uh, it's an honor to be here, and I'm here on behalf of David Sanchez and the rest of the organization. Uh, only thing I got to say mainly is I'm looking at this picture behind me, and I'm 55 years old, and I'm born and raised in L.A., and I wouldn't have known nothing about this until David Sanchez and the organization had lived that up. They brought it so lightly where it brought me over here. And, you know, I'm glad to be here, and we're going to keep on making that alive because there's other people in this area should also be here with us, but that's all right. We're small, but we're big in heart. Yeah, I'm here today. Uh, what motivates me is what has been happening with us today with uh, uh, Donald Trump and how he's been uh, disrespecting our, uh, our people. Uh, I'm here in support uh, for my immigrant friends, for my uh, those dreamers that are out there, still you know making it uh, making it in life here, making a, a good example of what uh, our our people could do if uh, if we get the chance to. So uh, that's my motivation right here right now is to uh, uh, bring out the uh, the spirit of the Brown Berets and um, uh, well, show some support for our people. Doing security and uh, leading the march. After that, we done um, the walkouts. Not even the Mexican newspapers cover it. They keep us out of the history books. You will not find any type of uh, information of the Brown Berets on any of your history books or any of the movements that the Mexicans have done. The only thing you find is any kind of crime. They call us Latinos, but as soon as a Mexican kills somebody, then all of us are Mexicans. We're not Latinos anymore. Thanks. Brown since 1968. It's like three or four generations since what happened here on, on Whittier Boulevard. And we're still fighting the same fight. This is our land that has been taken away from us. It's very similar to what happened in the uh, Alamo that was a, a Mexican place in Texas and, and the Anglos came in and stole it from us, slaughtered our people. And what we had here in this, this situation that happened 51 years ago is that uh, the key people were peacefully marching and the police opened fire on them and killed 
one outright and in, injured about six or seven others and two, two actually died after that. So this is what we're fighting and it's getting worse like it, what the uh, current administration is doing is, is uh, going against our right to even exist here in our own land and that's what we're fighting for. The Brown Berets have been fighting for that since back in 1968, 67 and that's how long the Brown Berets have been around. Thank you. Okay, thank you everybody. Uh, we're going to go to take a look at the location where the people were actually shot at. I think it's important. History is so important because history will tell us about our past, but it will also tell us about our future. And our future, we cannot allow prejudice and racism to go against our community. And that's why it's so important that we stand up for the rights of our people, stand up for the children, stand up for freedom, stand up for liberty, and stand up for justice for all. Thank you. Yes, Vicky Ramirez here. I'm here to support our, our people, you know. Uh, we don't know what awaits us in the next four years now that we have this new president. Uh, we're, I think we're a bit fortunate here in California because this is a democratic uh, state. But just because of that, we still have to uh, stay in unity. I think we need to get more involved, not only with our, our people here, but also with our uh, whatever union you're, you're with, you know. Uh, just to keep it, keep our uh, our community strong and involved, involved and educated in our in our rights. Thank you. Chicano power. Chicano power. Chicano power. You will let us out. Here we are at, at, on the corner of Arizona and Whittier Boulevard. And this is the location where 35 marchers were shot and one killed uh, as a result of marching uh, toward Whittier Boulevard. The, the uh, LA sheriffs uh, put up a firing squad and decided that no marcher was going to put a, a foot on Whittier Boulevard. And so as the marchers continued, the protesters continued toward Whittier Boulevard. Uh, they were uh, shot down uh, in the street. 35 people were shot down here in the street on January the 31st, 1971. Uh, the people were protesting against police brutality. Uh, they were also protesting because uh, Ruben Salazar had been killed at a previous demonstration four months before. And on January 31st, uh, the sheriff decided that they were not going to let the marchers come down with the boulevard. And uh, they opened fire. First, they started shooting uh, for the floor. Uh, then they started shooting uh, toward the chest. And then they started pulling out shotguns and pumping out their shotguns and shooting uh, 35 protesters here on the corner of Whittier Boulevard in Arizona. And we shall not forget, we shall not forget the suffering uh, that th the people went through uh, to protest. Uh, you would think that they would have the right to protest. Nonetheless, the sheriff's department uh, shot uh, people down here, down on the street. Uh, and we shall not forget, we shall not forget what happened on that day, on January 31st, 1971. And that's why we're here. 